Today, we're taking another look at the history of Voltron with the Voltron Force pilots, and this time, we're talking about Hunk. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the Super Force of Space Explorers. Specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV where all geek culture collides. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on future videos. Today, we're taking another look at the history of Voltron with the origin and history of the Voltron Force pilot known as Hunk. For the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on the history of the pilot of the Yellow Lion in Voltron Defender of the Universe, Voltron the Third Dimension, Voltron Force, and Voltron Legendary Defender as well as comics. Devil's Due Publishing revealed Hunk's full name as Toyoshi Garrett and is based on Sadao Toyoshi from Beast King Go Line. Hunk is the muscle of the team, and oftentimes an advocate for bringing the war to Planet Doom. Unlike Pidge, Hunk doesn't have the same uniform color as his lion. Hunk pilots the yellow line, but in Defender of the Universe, he wears an orange uniform. In the Nicktoons Voltron Force animated series, Hunk is the tech sergeant in Galaxy Garrison, and his Voltcom weapon is the claw hammer. He now wears a yellow uniform in this series, which matches his lion's color. In the Legendary Defender series, Hunk is the friendliest and kindest of the team and often the voice of restraint and caution, which is the complete opposite of his characteristic in Defender of the Universe. It's also revealed that Hunk is quite the chef in the series. Legendary Defender also reveals he has a fear of heights that he had to overcome when he became the pilot of the Yellow Lion. Throughout this series, he is considered the team engineer and heavy ordnance specialist. The Paladin's Handbook, official guidebook of the series, reveals that Hunk is 17 and of Samoan nationality. When he gets stressed, he bakes to help clear his mind. Also revealed in the handbook is that he was born on January 13th. In Beast King Go Line, the pilot of the Yellow Lion is Shoshi Sato and is nicknamed Hothead. Toyoshi is the strong man of the group. He pilots the yellow line and wears an orange uniform. He is roughly 22 to 24 years old. He may look tough and mean, but he has a soft heart, especially when it comes to children. He is never late for a meal. Though his friends tease him about his appetite, Toyoshi is very muscular. Sado is a Japanese word for copper. Voiced by Lenny Weinrib in the 80s series, Kevin Michael Richardson in the 90s series, and Ty Olson in the 2011 series, Hunk is a strongman of the group, piloting the yellow line that forms Voltron's left leg. He is shown wearing an orange uniform in the original series and a metallic yellow uniform in Voltron the Third Dimension. In the Devil's Due comic series, he is a Japanese-American man named Chiyoshi Hunk Garrett with a master's in engineering. The comic book version of Hunk depicts him as 24 and born to an American father and Japanese mother. His nickname Hunk comes from his four brothers, of whom he's ironically the smallest despite his own great size. While his brothers saw activities to take advantage of their physical prowess such as football and sumo, Hunk found a knack for all things mechanical. He was not very social and would spend most of his time tinkering in garage workshops. Later, he put himself through college on the GI Bill, and after gaining a master's in engineering, he discovered the equipment that fascinated him most was military in nature. However, he remained rather antisocial, establishing himself as someone who it was unwise to harass, until he was approached by Colonel Hawkins to join a team of outcasts to search for the legendary robot Voltron on the distant planet of Eris. In the Voltron Force animated series, Hunk helps the young cadets build their own version of Voltron out of scraps found in the junkyard, and they name it Awesome Tron. It's also revealed in Voltron Defender of the Universe that Hunk is good friends with Rocky, who pilots the V-15 of the air team of Vehicle Voltron. And the two were sparring partners while attending the academy together. Though in later Voltron series, Hunk and Pidge are considered close friends. In the original Voltron Defender of the Universe, they're pretty much considered best friends, with that same dynamic slightly carrying over to Legendary Defender in which Hunk, Pidge, and Lance were all three a close-knit group. The three-character dynamic is also seen in Voltron Force, where they're all three instructors at the Academy during the first couple episodes of the series, but not quite as close. 
That's it for this episode of Voltron Origins, guys, as we took an in-depth look at the character of Hunk from each incarnation of Voltron and Beast King Goline. I hope you enjoyed, and if you liked this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and if you feel so inclined, be sure to subscribe for more Voltron Origins, as well as all things geek culture. I'm Shannon for Comageddon TV. Take care. Voltron was needed once more. This is the story of the super force of space explorers. Specially trained and sent by the Alliance to bring back Voltron, Defender of the Universe. Voltron, Defender of the Universe.